beautiful people welcome back to my channel i feel like oh, <laughs> i don't even know what i feel like let me just let's just sit down okay oh my hair's all in my face i'm about to meal prep as you can see there's a lot of food up there and i would love for you to meal prep with me it might be a little bit chaotic um as things tend to be when i cook on this channel but i'll try to keep it straightforward and simple i will try to write up these recipes if you want to try them yourself i'm so keen to do a really good thorough meal prep for this week because i changed to a different shift pattern recently i'm now starting to work at 7 a.m instead of 9 and that really threw me i love early mornings but for some reason readjusting to that has been so difficult like i've been running out of the door without breakfast so many times and then by the time it gets to lunch i'm literally eating whatever whenever wherever and then on top of that i didn't prep last week so i was just eating a load of junk all week and i've just felt so groggy and minging and i want to feel healthy and fresh and energetic so yeah your gal isn't always on top of things i certainly haven't been <laughs> for these last like almost two weeks now and I would like to be so I'm starting that today on Sunday I've been to church worship God heard his word and I'm gonna meal prep if you do like videos like this please don't forget to let me know in the comments give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe to share my life with me I am uploading more regularly you can see my upload schedule on my Instagram um, so definitely check that out and make sure that you stick with me if you want if you don't want to you don't have to I get it like there's a lot of things to do in life and there's a lot of people to spend time with and you don't have to spend time with me but I would like you to I'd really appreciate it um I guess that's it I guess that's it let's start cooking okay love you why am I saying bye I'm not saying bye we're just gonna start cooking okay so I've laid out most of the stuff that we will need this is not a comprehensive list as you know I have a habit of throwing things in so anything in my kitchen is on the ingredients list but this is like the basics so we're gonna be making two meals two like dinner lunch dinner preps does that make sense and um, so this is what you need for the first meal I'm gonna be making some edam ed 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 edamame <laughs> edamame spaghetti turkey breast stew type of meal and um, so I've got the spaghetti the Tomatoes, turkey breasts, chickpeas, chopped tomatoes, an onion, stock, garlic, stock cubes. I'll probably add in other spices. I would have loved to have had some tomato puree, but I just don't have any. If you have not tried this stuff, try it. It is so, so good. It's literally made out of... Ed... <laughs> Why can't I say that word? Edamame beans. It's literally made out of that stuff. Um, and it's so good. Look at those... Ooh, ooh, look at those statistics so high in protein so high in fiber i love it i love it i love it and it doesn't taste like crap like it actually could pass off as a spaghetti so that's going to be meal number one meal number two a little bit boring a little bit easier just some couscous some chicken couscous enough talking more cooking let's go so first step we are gonna put the oven on then we're gonna pop the kettle on to boil chickens nicely in the tray nicely in the tray literally thrown onto the tray and then I'm just going to season it with the last of my Cajun seasoning. I feel like I've got some more in here. Top tip, when you are seasoning your stuff, never pour it onto a steaming pot because the steam will condense inside your seasoning and it will all stick together. And if you're tight like me, you will still try and use it. And um, that'll do. So just a few more clumps of seasoning on this. I'm also gonna grab some black pepper and sprinkle that on. If any will come out, don't show me up in front of my internet friends. Some thyme as well, just a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour a dash of oil and a bit of water on there. Um, I want a really nice stock um, to cook. So that was literally just like a tablespoon of oil. And then I'm just gonna add in a bit of water there as well. I've done this really roughly, it's really not that deep. Um, it's just to give the chicken some flavor and I also want a really nice stock from the chicken in order to be able to cook the couscous in that stock as you will see later on. I'm gonna pop that in the oven until it's done. Just follow the instructions, I never really time it. 20, 30 minutes ish should be all right. In she goes. One thing that's really good to do that you will love yourself for while meal prepping is tidying up as you go along. Just keeping a clear space, a clear head. You won't regret it. That is coming from someone who is not a naturally very tidy person. I can endure quite a lot of mess, but when meal prepping, just spruce it up as you go along. Top tip. 
Okay, so now we're gonna start boiling stuff. Um, not the couscous, because that only takes a second. So does the spaghetti, to be honest. Maybe I shouldn't start boiling the spaghetti yet. Maybe I should start with the stuff I don't wanna do, because it involves cutting onions, and oh my goodness. <sighs> I knew I should have bought sliced onions. I don't know why I bought a not an unsliced onion. What is this? 17th century? Do these hands look like they're made for cutting onions? Does this makeup look like it was made to cry on? No, it was not. But sacrifices must be made. Ugh. Okay, I've had my little strop now. Uh, let's cut some onions. Nicely, nicely does it. I think I really do need to just invest in like a pair of kitchen goggles and um, I just wear goggles while I'm cutting onions. As you can see, I'm not that fussy with how I cut my onions. As long as they are cut and away from my eyes, I really just don't, don't care. Do I look like Martha Stewart to you? The answer is no. Maybe my hair colour. But that's about it. So, you know, lower your expectations. Oh, no. Ah, oh, no. Not today, Satan, not today. So, onions are cut. Grab a frying pan. We're about to fry. Huh, why did that hurt my back? We're about to fry them up. Let's go. Using my fry light spray as usual. Can you see it? Can you see it? My fry light. To just reduce oil and calories and stuff. So, yeah. Come closer. <laughs> Let's spritz that. Shocking the onions. Spritz again. Ugh. Leave that to get nice and hot while I slice the peppers, which have apparently frozen in the fridge, which is not great, but I um, power through. <laughs> Okay, so my onions are nice and brown now. So then I'm gonna add in some chopped tomatoes. Adding in two Maggie stock cubes. Next I'm gonna add in some garlic, but I do not have time to be cutting up garlic. So I have this little contraption here. It's like a garlic press where you literally just cut them up into chunks. Can you see, is that in focus? Why won't my camera focus today? Are you an enemy of success camera? There we go. So you just literally chop them up into big chunks, pop them into there, and then watch this magic. Boom! It minces it for you, and you just gotta kind of scrape it into the, into the pot. Now I'm just gonna season it with like whatever I want, to be honest, so I'm gonna throw in some bay leaves, um, a bit of parsley, just a touch, some chili, some black pepper. Added those in. The chickpeas, yes. Pour some hot water on the spaghetti and start boiling that. Now that the chicken is done, um, I'm gonna grab, oh, grab that chicken and put it into a pot. This pot here. All of the stock, oh, and all of the chicken right into that pot. Look at that delicious chicken. Then I'm gonna add in a generous spoonful, I can't even fit the spoon in there, spoonful of pesto, if I can, into there, a little bit more. Then I've just got some couscous and I'm gonna pour that in on here. A lot, a lot of couscous. <laughs> I know this seems weird, but it'll be fine, it'll be good. Okay, there, that'll do. So I should have done this a little bit earlier, but I kind of forgot. I'm gonna grab some kale um, and pick off the stalks, rinse it, and put it to boil for like not very long. You definitely want to remove the stalks um, because they taste like crap. So don't eat the stalks of kale. Kale doesn't taste too bad when it's surrounded by other things that taste good. I actually kind of like it now. It's a really easy vegetable actually to just throw in with everything else. Um, but yeah, I should have done this before I put the couscous together, so. My bad. I was enough to take control of my whole body Just to touch your love Okay, so I've drained the spaghetti, I've turned off the heat on that I've put the kale to boil and I'm just mixing up the couscous with the pesto and the chicken stock It's actually super simple, I'm literally just going to pour in some boiling water, not too much and mix that in 
um, because couscous cooks really quickly and really easily. Okay, I definitely want more water than that. Just pour it in and stir. And I'm going to pop a lid on that and just leave it to sit until it's nice and cooked. Oh, that smells so, so good. Okay, so we're nearly done. We're just going to start putting things in the Tupperware, my favourite bit. My Tupperware is so ugly and old, but does the job. Um, so I have a massive bag of washed, now washed, spinach. Um, and I'm just going to basically make like a bed of spinach leaves in each Tupperware box because I love spinach. I find it's a really easy way of getting in extra vitamins, um, extra vegetables, fibre. Just so, so good. Really low maintenance as well. So we're going to serve everything up. I'm just going to add some of the spaghetti into each of these. Ha! Oh, that is hot. I think I burned my hand. What did I think? Ha! Oh, I could... Ha! Oh, oh, ha! Oh. And yet I'm going to carry on because I'm a badass. Grab the chickpea sauce. And if any of you are vegans or vegetarians, like that's a pretty good meal in itself. So for the turkey, I'm just heating up some oil that I used yesterday actually to make some chicken. So it's got some nice flavour and stock in there. And then I'm just frying these turkey steaks in the oil. Can I fit too? I think I can. Ow! Ah, I should not have done that. So I think we're about done now. That one looks good to me. And as though there wasn't already enough vegetables, I'm just going to fry the tomatoes as well because I love a charred fried tomato so much. Okay, so I've got the couscous, the kale and the peppers. The couscous is cooked. How amazing. How easy can a meal be? And I'm just going to mix in the peppers and the kale to make one delicious, healthy, vegetable filled dish. I like leaving the peppers not cooked because then you get a really nice crunch when you come to eat it. You can eat this hot or cold. It is just a really great quick and easy meal prep and I'm so excited to eat these. Oh, it's going to be great. We are done with the meal prep. You want to see what I'm eating this week? I mean, you've literally already seen it, but yeah, let me show you and talk you through what I'm going to be eating. Here they are, glorious meal prep. So what we have is some edamame bean... <laughs> spaghetti turkey steak and chickpea stew we've got three of those and we've got one without the turkey steak because i didn't buy enough um so I just put some cheese on there because i love cheese <laughs> um, and then we have the chicken and couscous chicken and couscous uh with tomato and that's it <laughs> wow that was a really short description but i love these meal preps because they are super lean they are full of flavor they are healthy they are full of protein and they're delicious they taste good and i love food that tastes good that is it thank you so much for watching you guys i love prepping with you and inviting you into my kitchen um i really hope that you've enjoyed this video and that it's helped give you some i don't know ideas show you how chilled and relaxed meal prep can be your meals don't have to be perfect they can be different um, and just yeah have fun eating healthy food that you love because I definitely do and I'm really excited that this week I'll have these meals at the click of a button on the microwave or even without a microwave for the couscous dish and um, so yeah thank you so much for watching I love you guys crazy amounts and um, don't forget to join me on Instagram Twitter Facebook on the blog as well loads of recipes on the blog I'll see you guys in my next video thank you bye <laughs>